AI and facial recognition technology have been grabbing headlines as well as the interest of Main Street as well as Wall Street. So joining me in front of the New York Stock Exchange today is Ted Farnsworth, and he is the CEO as well as chairman of Helios and Matheson Analytics. Ted, great to have you here today. Oh, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Well, your company offers predictive uh, analytics services when it comes to safety. So could you tell me about your product and how it works? Sure. Our product is called Red Zone Map for the consumer. And what we do is we do uh, mapping of real-time crime data all over the world. But really here in the U.S. is our, where we started. And we do real-time crime and terrorism as well, uh, where we let people know their situational awareness. What's going on around them? You're going to a different city. You're flying into Chicago. What's happening around me? We give you a safe route, risky route, whatever you want to take. So it is all big data, like what you are saying, all analytics behind the scenes, crunching the numbers of what, what's going to take you to the safe route. Well, when it comes to this uh, type of product, there are security as well as privacy concerns. So can you tell me about how your company is addressing those concerns? The privacy issues is extremely complicated, obviously, especially here in the U.S., where it's all about, um, you know, giving up a little bit of freedom for security, but where's that balance? Where does it all lie? And then the other thing is what we've seen with facial recognition here you're being, wherever you are, New York City, L.A., Chicago, or even small towns, you're being uh, photographed thousands of times a day and you don't realize it. Well, what's going on with that database behind the scenes? Where is it being stored? Who has it? Who has the rights to it? Who owns it? Is it a municipality, a city, the police department, the shopping center, the mall? So it's, it's very complicated that way. But what I've seen recently is where a lot more people are willing to give up a little bit of freedom you know, for safety, for security, such as like what happened in London where they did facial recognition and they found the terrorists in the stadium while they were just sitting there having a game. I mean, that's the first time ever, and that only happened a couple of weeks ago. So you'll see more and more facial recognition really come into the forefront. Um, and some of the companies we're dealing with, with facial recognition out of Israel in particular, is the technology is so far ahead of where I thought it was. So it's, but it is the the... The whole privacy issue is a very, very touchy subject. It's going to be interesting of how our government deals with it as well. Well, Ted, uh, Helios and Matheson Analytics is a publicly traded company. You're listed on the NASDAQ capital market under tickle, ticker symbol HMNY. And as of today, at the time of recording, uh, your market cap is around $19.5 million. But going forward, what is your outlook for the company and where do you stand in terms of financials? I think you're going to see over the next several months with Helios and Matheson, we really took the last year as we did the merger to really get our footing to see where we're going, what we're doing. So with Red Zone alone, um, you know, as a subsidiary of that, obviously on the safety side and different things we're bringing out like zone intelligence and all that stuff. And then I think you'll see other things that happen along the way, but always based around the consumer and big data, you know, where big data of knowing what the consumer, where they're doing, where they're going and be in first mover. Whatever space we go into, we want to have first mover advantage and be disruptive, disrupt the whole sector. Nobody was in doing crime, crime mapping or anything like that. We're still the only player really in it, uh, per se. So that was really us being the first mover. So any company we look at, impossible acquisitions down the road or whatever, it's always going to be about first mover advantage and disruptive in technology. And last but not least, before I let you go, I do want to ask about what markets you're in and how your biometrics uh, works. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Biometrics, well, the markets we're in right now is obviously a strong presence in the U.S. We've opened in Europe, in the U.K. Um, we've done Paris, Germany as well, uh, but Paris, France is a major city. And we're gathering our data as, as we speak and building those databases. We probably have what I would say the largest live real-time crime database in the world, especially in the private sector. And it's taken us three years to put that together. And we do it through all different ways of how we get our information. But going back to our technology facial recognition, our facial recognition is interesting for the fact of when we take, when we do facial recognition with you, what we do is ours goes into a mathematical formula. So it's three points of the face in a mathematical formula. So if anybody ever hacked our system, which we don't believe they will, but you never know, they would never have your facial recognition. They would only have a mathematical formula. So that formula has to come down, match another formula here in less than a second and tell you who that person is. So that's really the big uh, differentiation between us and any other facial recognition company out there. Okay, Ted, well, thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for all your insight into the marketplace. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye.